Hello, I'm Cynthia Renee. Have you ever heard that phrase, tough times never last, but tough people do? It's a good mantra for these weeks of quarantine, isn't it? And like most things, that brings me back to gems and jewelry and how I can use the analogies from everyday life to help people understand some of the complications a little better. So that's clear up how a gem's hardness is very different from its durability. You've heard that diamond is the hardest substance naturally occurring on the earth, right? It has a hardness of 10, and that's measured on the mineralogical scale called the Mohs scale. Now, the Mohs scale has from 1 to 10, and diamond is the hardest, and 1 is talc, something very soft. But what does really that hardness mean? It means that a gem's hardness is a relative rating showing that gems can, can be scratched and those that can be scratched by. That's all it means is that diamond can scratch all of those gemstones that are below it in hardness, um, sapphire and ruby, which are just below diamond, they're nine to diamonds 10. Uh, they can scratch all the others below it and, and uh, so forth, but they can't scratch diamond. All that means, it's a rating that tells you which gems can scratch the other. Now, durability is the, withstand to be, uh, the ability to be able to withstand wear and damage, it's not the same as hardness. And there's a lot of things that a gemstone must be able to withstand and be durable in everyday life. Changes in temperature, uh, blows to it, chips, and, and so forth, um, acids, chlorine from swimming pools, and so forth. And durability is what's really important to consider. Now, some varieties of gemstone even have the same hardness, but have different dur durabilities. There's the mineral beryl, and we know um, it has a hardness of seven. And in the gem world, we know the vivid green um, beryl is emerald. The blue beryl is aquamarine. Pinkish one is morganite. Yellow is heliodor, and so forth. Now, emerald is not as durable as the other forms of beryl. It's just typically found with internal fractures within it that require some special care. So they're all seven. Um, they have good durability, except for emerald, not really as durable. If you're going to wear emerald successful, you need to take care and modify some of your behaviors or set it in a way that's going to be able to protect that emerald um, better. Now, some gems aren't particularly hard, like jade. Like here's a black jade bracelet we have. Jade is a six to seven on the Mohs hardness scale, but it's tougher than diamond. And the reason is it has to do with the way that it forms internally. If you look at it microscopically, jade is composed of all these interlocking fibers and grain, and they, they interlock in such a way that forms like a mesh or a mat and so forth, so that when one part of it is hit, the others help absorb the blow. And isn't that a really good analogy for nowadays? Because together with our families and our communities, together, we're able to support each other and get through this quarantine mess and be stronger, right? So that's what I wanted to be able to share to you today. There's a difference between hardness and durability. Um, there's more tips I have on how you can wear your jewelry more successfully so it will be uh, handed through the generations and keep it in good shape. Okay, thank you. Goodbye for now. Any questions you have? Cynthia at Cynthia Renee com, Cynthia at Cynthia Renee com dot com is my email. Um, go to my website, CynthiaRenee.com, and get on my mailing list, and that's, that's support each other. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.